So I've been doing a few videos um, and decided I needed better cameras to do it with. Um, so as you know, I've been looking at this Canon um, R806, which I've seen a few people uh, rave on about and say that it's really good for streaming and doing YouTube videos. So I'll take a look at that in a minute. Um, the current one that I'm using at the moment is a Logitech uh, C920. So this is a really good camera. Um, let me just switch this over. Move that out of the way. Works really well. I'm proper impressed with the quality of it. It's a 1080p camera. Um, I was also using a Canon 600D. Uh, one of the, I mean, you know, it was fine. I was using it for a USB connector um, and via OBS having to capture the screen this way. Um, let me switch over to it actually so we can see that camera in action. It's quite blurry on here, so when I'm building things on the desk, you can't really tell. Um, you know, again with the Unify stuff that I'm be doing, it's a little bit blurred, no autofocus on it. Um, so we got the Elgato capture card to go with it. So I'm going to plug that in now and see what difference we get between this and the um, between the quality of the EOS now through the USB uh, and the quality through the capture card. So just bear with me while I uh, head across and um, plug this in. So I had to interrupt the video um, while I went and fixed things. So we bought the Elgato Cam Link, the 4K version. Um, I tried to hook my Canon EOS 600D up to it and it just didn't work. Um, unfortunately, Canon camera will not do a live view while you've got HDMI connected to it. So that was kind of a waste of time. Um, so we plugged this in and I got it all up and running and I tried to get it working with the uh, the other camera that I bought, the Canon uh, HF R806 and it was freezing constantly under OBS uh, and even under its own uh, game capture HD software that it just kept freezing. I looked on YouTube, found various, I uh, looked on YouTube, googled it, found various people having the same issue. Um, and one of the recommendations was to have, because it takes a USB 3 slot, was to uh, just have that plugged into the USB 3 only and nothing else. I tried that, yeah, and it still locked up randomly. Um, so, shot off over to Amazon, um, let's switch, and I went and bought a CSL um, USB 3 PCIe card. Um, if we switch that over. So the cam link set me back at like, you know, 120 quid. Um, yeah, had issues with it. So, I got this CSL USB adapter. It was literally like 13 quid. Um, tried that, plugged it all in, and we managed to get it running. No freezing whatsoever. I've literally had it running for about four hours now, um, and it's just, yeah. Had no stuttering via OBS whatsoever, and we've got it hooked up. So if we switch over, so as you can see, hey, we're good, and the the quality of it, I'm really impressed with. Um, on this uh, 806, it's really, really good quality. Um, as I discussed previously, you know, it's got auto focus on it. Just perfect for our requirements. Yeah, you can read the text. Just go up pretty close. You can read the text on it. So I think this will do us for our videos. Um, yeah, happy with the uh, product. You know, having to buy um, the other USB, it happens. Uh, I want my, my computer's not that slow either. It's uh, an i7 though. It's a third gen with like 32 gig of RAM and a NVIDIA 1080 card. Um, but yeah, this will do us for going forward. So if you find yourself using a camcorder uh, and you're pl planning on uh, streaming via the HDMI port and you need some way to capture it, this Elgato 4K is really, really good. Uh, if you do have problems with it, 
you know, pausing, freezing in OBS, random lockups, you find fitting in an internal USB card, seems to cure the problem. Um, as for cameras, I can really recommend this uh, Canon HF R806. It's clear enough, and one thing that I really do like about it is the fact that um, while you're doing live video and you've got the HDMI connected, the display is still active, so you know I can still look at this display and see what's going on in front of me. I hope this video helps, especially if you've been having problems with this uh, Elgato uh, freezing and things, because it's done my head for the last two days. So we're about done for this video. Um, I'll leave links in the description to where you can find the Canon, the Elgato, and the USB so you've got everything you need. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and hit the like button. Um, also, please subscribe to our channel. Um, and don't forget to hit the notification icon for any new videos that come out. Thank you.